Hey, this is Josie. This is Affirmation Pod, where you get soothing affirmations infused with self love, available 24 7. If this is your first time listening, welcome. If you're a returning listener, you've been with me for years, welcome back. We are in this together. We're in a time of uncertainty. We're managing a lot of changes and a lot of adjustments. And in this season, I want to be giving you more midweek episodes. My way of showing up and doing my part is staying home. You may hear my kids in the background right now, but doing my part is also showing up for you, delivering content that's going to help you manage your mind, your emotions, your choices. And so today I bring to you the Resilience Playlist. It's five episodes of Affirmation Pod. Most of them I've had to dig up for you. And by the way, this month marks the seven-year anniversary of Affirmation Pod. So for some of you, it will feel kind of nostalgic listening to these episodes, but they're all relevant to what we're experiencing now, what we're going through now. Now to Premium Access members, you get this Resilience Playlist without the intro that I'm giving you now, but there's also a Premium Access version of this playlist It's the same thing, except at the beginning, you get two grounding meditations, and at the end, you get two soothing meditations. These are already bonus episodes that you also have had for quite a while, but I've put it all together for a resilience playlist, premium access version. Go on in. It's already there. I uploaded it yesterday. Now, if you're not a premium access member yet, but you'd like that playlist, along with over a year's worth of bonus content that you won't find on this podcast, Head over to affirmationpodpremium.com to sign up and become a premium access member. That's affirmationpodpremium.com. The premium and bonus content is also available on Patreon if you prefer listening there. But right now, I want to be clear that we are apart but together through all of this. There's no outro on this one. So go be you, know you, and love you. Here is the Resilience Playlist. Dealing with it doesn't mean the problem is solved. Dealing with it means I'm getting a handle on it. Dealing with it means I'm making coping a priority. And by that I mean coping in healthy, wise, and productive ways. Dealing with it means I choose to see what's in front of me but also step back and shift even just a few degrees in either direction to see what else is going on. Dealing with it means I check in with my body and put things in place to take care of my physical health. Dealing with it means I check in with my mental health and apply the resources and skills I've got to take care of my mental state. Dealing with it means I work out my emotions, I identify them, I unpack them, and I process them. Dealing with it means I clear space to examine my own biases, my own blind spots, and my own brokenness. Dealing with it means I get through the denial part and get realistic on what needs to be done. Dealing with it means I accept the things I cannot change. Dealing with it means I change the things I have the power to change and I do the things I have the power to do. I'm dealing with it. It's heavy. It ain't easy. It's making me go deep and call for deep gratitude and perspective. Dealing with it means I catch myself when I'm drowning in it, when I'm caught up in it, when I'm downright out of control about it. It's here. There's no turning back. I gotta face it and figure out how I'm going to get through this terrain. 
Some days it will feel like a battle or an all-out war. I can even expect battle scars. I can just work at limiting them. Dealing with it means there will be dark days and dark moments. It is up to me how I will manage each one. I will have impulses, temptations, and even invitations to be destructive. It's on me what I will choose in those moments. Dealing with it means I regularly measure how much power this has over me, over my thoughts, my physical state, my reactions. Dealing with it means this is robbing me of time, energy, and resources that I would use for other things if this wasn't here. But it's here, and I need to care for myself. I need to look at the stress and apply self-care strategies to both prevent and treat the stress. I need to monitor my rest, my exercise, my nutrition. I need to get spiritual and give service. I need to find calm to stay calm. Dealing with it means so many things, so many emotions. I've never been through this before. I don't have a point of reference. I don't always know what the best thing to do is for myself and for the situation. Dealing with it means I wake up each day and keep trying. I keep showing up and doing the work of self-awareness. I keep improving myself to improve my world. Dealing with it means I can handle the hard days. It means I know the patterns and where I get locked into a bad cycle. Dealing with it means acknowledging I am not perfect. I will not handle every moment perfectly. It means sometimes I may not even recognize myself. Dealing with it means it may get messy. I may need to get through the fog with very little light to work with. Dealing with it means I may need to take slower, smaller steps for a while. Dealing with it means I don't know how things are going to turn out. Dealing with it means I don't avoid the possibilities, but I keep really focused on the now and the what is now. Dealing with it means no matter what is going on, no matter what is happening, no matter what the uncertainties are, I still know that I am so loved, that I am enough, and that my spirit can come back from all hurt, disappointment, anger, anything. I'm dealing with it. Yes, I'm dealing with it. I can handle this. This is my experience. This is my season of life. And some of this is really painful. Some of it has me on edge. Some of it has me super discouraged. When I say I can handle it, 
It doesn't mean I have to be positive and happy all the time. It means I understand and I know that it's there. I know that coping can be difficult. And there's going to be moments where I really have to supercharge my self-care. I'm going to do what I need to do to handle it because I can handle it. I've got the extra resources inside me and I will use them. I've got the extra resources outside of me and I'm going to reach out to them. Sometimes it's tempting to start losing my true self and spiral down a dark path. But at any moment of the day, I can turn around and say to myself, I can handle this. I see the trap and the temptation to get negative and I hold myself in that space of gratitude. I can handle it. Some things I'm not sure about. Some things I don't know what will happen. Some things I'm just scared, but I can handle it. Sometimes I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm so unsettled. I can handle it. I can face it. Sometimes I want to get cynical, combative, and just plain mean. But I can handle it. I don't have to go there. I am clear on how I want to live. I am clear on who I want to be. I am clear on how in the tough times, which version of me is going to win out. I can handle it. I don't have to get sucked into it. My feet are firmly planted. My spirit is firmly rooted. And my mind is firmly grounded. I can handle this. From the moment I wake up till I lie down and sleep, I can handle this. Yes, I can. I can handle it. Lately, my life has felt heavier. I feel the weight of what's wrong in my life, the lives of those I love, and the lives of those I only know through media. It's hard. It's hard when I'm trying to keep a good perspective and maintain my own health and well-being. There's so much I cannot control. There's so much I cannot fix. I try to be an example and light in a dark time. I care. I really do care. I also need to be clear on what I need to let go of and what I need to hold on to. So starting now, I face the emotional weight that I've been carrying. I get really honest with the boundaries I need to set so I can show up in a healthier way for myself, my loved ones, and my world. I observe what I cannot control and what I cannot fix. I get busy on what I can control and what I can fix. I get practical, I get creative, I get resourceful. to take care of me and my own emotional health.
as I manage the places and spaces inside myself where it's normal to feel the weight of my emotions. I also keep close to me all that makes me feel emotionally light, alive, and free. I'm aware of the emotional weight that is depleting my energy. I remember I am a good person and I set limits. I allow myself the space and time to release emotional weight. I open myself to the type of emotional weight that offers inspiration, that uplifts me and encourages me. I am a light. I am an example. I am doing my part to show up as the best me I can be. That means I know how to take off emotional weight when I need to, where I need to, and how I need to. I carry emotional weight in those things I can control, in those things I can do something about, I can make progress in, I can help solve, and I stand in courage, I stand in clarity, And I stand in my power to own my emotions, to process my emotions, and to create safe and respectful emotional boundaries. I am emotionally present for myself. I am emotionally here to love and care for myself. I am here. I am emotionally here. Right here and right now is where I want to see everything happening. The pace right now feels too slow. It's unsettling. The time this is taking leaves me vulnerable to discouragement, doubt, and fear. And it's tough to battle and counter those thoughts. I know this cannot be rushed. It has its own timing, but I can get pretty impatient, and I want to be more patient. I do recognize when I'm feeling and being impatient, and I give myself coaching time, reflection time, and perspective time. I know I can keep doing that, because that's what I can control, and that's my patience levels. I've got deep patience and deep wisdom inside. It's the wisdom that speaks of where I can do more, 
and where I can wait more. It's wisdom to recognize the lessons that can be learned here if I'm open to it. It's the wisdom that remembers other seasons of life where waiting and struggle and uncertainty made the results all the more worth it and I grew so much in the process. I am empowered by this process. There is work inside the waiting. It's forming me and shaping my character. It's preparing me to reach my goals. I trust this process. I embrace the opportunity to grow. I am more patient today, knowing that with each day, I am getting closer to what I want. I am even patient with my lack of patience. I'm growing in ways that are taking me to the next level. But this means patience, and I allow things to come together in their own timing. I let go of the stress of trying to force things, and I dig even deeper to the place of trust. I am patient with where this is going. I am patient with where I'm headed. I am patient with what I feel right now. Change is coming. Working on myself is the best preparation for what's next. I patiently wait. I choose patience. I have patience. I live with patience. I am aware of the energy I am maintaining and the energy I'm putting out into the world. Yeah, there's times I'm tempted to resist this journey, but I stay firm in making sure I embrace this journey. I am patient with the process. I am patient with the results. I'm patient with the whole situation. I am patient. Yes, I am patient. So now, finding a comfortable position, scanning your body, deep diaphragmatic breathing, noticing any tension in your body, and with each exhalation, releasing that tension, and now opening your heart and opening your spirit to receive a belief and confidence in yourself. I am able to manage and handle anything that presents itself. I am able to get through whatever I need to face today. I am able to dig deep inside myself for inner strength and clarity. I'm able to keep my cool and maintain equanimity. I am able to face my fears. I am able to meet challenges. I am able to address problems. I'm able to manage me. I'm able to use discernment on when to check my messages and social media. I'm able to use discernment for when to put my devices down.
I'm able to communicate effectively. I'm able to monitor when and how often I communicate with others. I have the ability to speed up and be productive. I have the ability to slow down and rest. I have the insight to know when to step on the gas and when to step on the brakes. I am able to use wisdom for changing my mind, making a pivot, or completely starting from scratch again. I am able to do what it takes to achieve my dreams. I am able to be resourceful and figure out the right path to take. I am able to settle the noise and distractions around me so I can look into my thoughts and discover what's truly on my mind. I'm able to create a space away from pressures, obligations, and responsibilities so that I can connect with the emotions inside me. I am able to take care of myself. I am able to listen to what my heart is saying. I am able to look at my feelings. I am able to feel my feelings. I am able to manage my feelings. I am able so I don't have to stuff my feelings and try to pretend they're not there. I am able to be strong. I am able to be self-aware. I am able to understand myself, my motivations, and what really drives me. I am able to look at what my needs are, what excites me, and what fulfills me. I am able to be confident. I am able to manage life without being impulsive, and compulsive because I am able to exercise profound judgment. I am able to stay grounded. I am able to maintain mental stability. I am able to maintain emotional stability. I am able to coach myself so that I don't get caught up in drama, irrelevance, and things that simply don't matter. I'm able to exercise self-responsibility. And whatever it takes when it comes to time management, attention management, money management, emotion management, thought management, stress management, I am able to prevent and reduce stress in my life, to expand and utilize my skills. I am able to improve who I am and to make progress on my life goals every single day. I am able to live with intention. I'm able to live with action. I'm able to live by design and not by default. I'm able to take control of the things that I can control. I'm able to take the steps that are needed for changes that I can control.
I am able to accept those things that I just can't change. I am able to see how I'm going to live during challenging seasons, during joyous seasons, during any season. I am able to spread love. I am able to become the best version I've ever seen of myself. I am able to hold my head high and be proud of the person I am. I am able to believe in me, to have confidence in me, to know that I am able. and to see that manifest in every day. And now as you continue your deep breaths, deep diaphragmatic breathing. I want you to finish this sentence. I am able. And whatever that affirmation was, I invite you to carry it with you, to hold it close and tight Maybe even right now, put your hand on your chest and let that affirmation sink into your heart. Be absorbed by your skin and allowing it to go into your heart. And just as our hearts circulate blood throughout our bodies, let the affirmation you just created circulate throughout your entire being. <laughs> 